Leisure Line Stove Company presents the Leisure Line Stoves video information series. Created to provide our valued customers with expert advice, techniques, and information on the care and maintenance of their Leisure Line stoves, furnaces, and boilers. On this part of the video, we're going to explain the power vent system, uh, the barometric damper, the uh, safety switch, and the rheostat on the power vent, and how this all hooks up, how you put it through your wall hook it up to the stove and uh, just get everything w w in working order. Uh, what we have here is we have a display that's in our store. Uh, we kind of, it, it's small because of room naturally. And what, what this, this represents the wall of your house. Uh, this is naturally represents just the, the floor. And what we did here is we run the venter through. Now, this is the back side of the venter, the part that comes through your house. Preferably, this should be in the center of the studding. The studding is 16 inch on center, but because of my restraints here and how the stove is, I had to put it here. This would be in the center. You cut an 8 inch hole through your uh, wall. Naturally remove your insulation, anything that, that any possible fire. Remove it all. Have this 8 inch hole. This mounts on the outside, which we'll show in a, another part here. This comes through. It's all pre-wired on a rheostat. This plugs directly into a wall outlet, not into the stove. This plugs into a wall outlet. It's on a rheostat. When you first turn it on, it's on high. As you turn it, it's just like a dimmer switch on your lights. It slows things down to a point where it almost stops. When it's on full blast, which you probably can't hear, but when it's on full blast, this will draw up to 170,000 BTUs. This is why it's important to have your uh, your power venter rheostat set, your barometric damper all tied in the proper way with your stove. So you're not sucking all the heat up. You put the uh, 46 right on the venter itself here. Then the barometric damper. Now this barometric damper has a swivel head to it in case you would run the barometric on a vertical or horizontal. has a weight on it here and on each side of this V, there'll be, or each side of, uh, of this bracket here, there's a V or an H, meaning horizontal or vertical. This depends on how you mount it on the stove, whether it's a top vent stove or whether your pipe's running vertical or horizontal. This is the weight itself that controls how that gate opens. I'll set it down like that, and with the weight all the way to the front of, of this bracket here, of this V we'll call it, this gate opens real easy. You bump it with your finger and you can see how easy it opens. You put the weight all the way to the back, you bump it, you can see it hardly opens at all. This weight, or this, uh, this bracket here has numbers on it. Two, four, six, eight, so on and so forth. When setting this barometric damper, setting the weight on it for your power venter, you want to set it right around the number four. Now I realize my hands are kind of in the way here. But you want to set it right around the number four. There's a mark there, and your power vent or your barometric would be set. This would slide in to the four to six reducer. This does not need to go right here. You can put this on the back of the stove. You can put it. You can have a pipe here as long as it's from the stove to the venter somewhere in this area. Not necessarily right here. Not necessarily off the back of the stove. Wherever you prefer. With this in place, then naturally your stove would hook right on the heater or a short piece of pipe or a long piece of pipe or whatever the case may be to have it where you want the stove to set. Along with this, we have uh, uh, a safety, uh, safety switch. This safety switch mounts on the back of the stove on a Pioneer. On a, a high fire or a Pocono, it mounts on the left or the All right the power hand side. that goes to the stove goes through here. So, with this switch in place and everything working properly, the switch won't kick. If the venter would stop, the pipe would block, whatever the case may be, the switch would kick. On the back of this unit, there's a little hole, it's a little bigger, an eighth inch hole. You push a 
a small jeweler screwdriver in there and there's a reset button. You would push, reset that button uh, probably 15 to 20 minutes after it kicked. But naturally, you'd have to find out the problem first. Uh, fix the problem, clean the pipes, uh, motor, whatever, whatever needed to be done. And hit the reset button and you'd be uh, back in working order. If, uh, if you lose power, if you lose power at your house, and uh, naturally when you lose power, the power venter will stop, the stove will stop, everything. The stove itself will still have heat inside. And since the venter isn't running, and naturally the stove isn't running either, it will trip this switch. So when your power comes back on, your stove won't run. You'll have to go over and reset that switch. Now I'm not talking a power outage of 15 seconds. I'm talking a power outage of uh, uh, 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes before that would happen. This is uh, the basics on the, on the power venter, how it works and, uh, and what it does. Uh, like I say, you don't want to run the power venter real hard. When the stove is burning is when you should set everything. If you don't have a draft gauge, uh, which naturally not, not many people do, plumbers do, uh, your stove dealer more than likely has one. I, uh, I think that this, the power vent itself should be installed by the stove dealer or a professional. Uh, it, it's not real difficult, but if it's done by a professional, you know it's done right. Uh, don't install it, don't run it without reading uh, the book on it, how it works, uh, how to maintain it, and all the safety features of it. With every stove we sell, there's a carbon monoxide detector that comes with every stove. I tell all our customers, put a carbon monoxide detector on each and every floor. Uh, carbon monoxide is a deadly gas and it's odorless. The carbon monoxide detector will pick up 50 parts per million, which is just a minute little amount. So for your own protection, for your children's protection, everybody, put a carbon monoxide detector on every floor. And it's an extra 40 bucks in the room. It could save you. Everything here is, uh, comes in the power vent kit. You don't need anything except maybe a piece of black pipe or two pieces of black pipe or wherever you're going to place your stove. Other than that, everything is in the stove. This is a simulation of uh, the outside of uh, your average home. And, uh, and on our display here, what we did is uh, we showed the venter itself, how it comes through the, uh, the building. What we did, instead of them mounting the venter, the four holes in the venter, right fast to the siding, we mounted uh, two by twos, or one and a half by one and a half. We mounted four of them onto the siding, then screwed the venter itself into the four of them. We recommend at Leisure Line that at the end of the burning season, you take the venter right out of the wall. Uh, the best way to clean it is with baking soda and water, warm water on it with a sponge. Wipe it all out real good. Uh, that way uh, the baking soda itself will neutralize the acid from the, from the coal, from the fly ash. And naturally things will last a lot longer. So rather than run the screw into your siding year after year in and out, which is only going to take a few years and you're going to have no meat left there, we put the one by twos, or the two by twos around the uh, siding and mounted the venter onto that. You can use uh, uh, ripped two befores or furring strips or whatever you want to use. If you don't want to use anything, screw right fast to your siding. But we do recommend that at the end of every heating season, in March, April, whenever you guys are done burning your stove, that you actually take the four screws, take it out, put a plate on there so no animals can crawl in, and take this out, clean it up real well, and, uh, and put it someplace where it's going to stay dry. To find your closest dealer of American-made Leisure Line stoves, furnaces, and boilers, or view additional videos, visit www.leisurelinestoves.com.